Here we have the Fusion Antiquing Glaze. This is one of our newest products in the line, thanks to your requests. It was such a high demand this past year or two. Glazes are really the in thing. It's so easy to create that aged vintage look with the glaze. So what we have here for you is in a convenience half pint size, or rather 250 milliliters. This size we chose to add to the line because it's for the average project. So if you're doing a dresser or a dining room table set, you don't need a whole quart. So instead of spending money on a full quart, what you can do is get just enough to do your project. A little goes a long way with this. It is a medium mid-tone brown color, similar to that of a Van Dyke brown if you're similar, if you're familiar with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. This has been painted in the Michael Penny collection color called Picket Fence. It's our brightest white in the line. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the glaze. Now the beautiful thing about this glaze is the open time. What does that mean? Well, open time is how long it takes for it to dry. With this product, you have a very long open time, which means that you can work with it a lot quicker. So here we go. I'm gonna apply this. And then if I wanted to remove some, then all I would need to do is take a rag or a cloth, just happen to have a little bit of tissue here, and literally just wipe it back. You may not like the full effect of having too much on there, so apply just as much as you like and wipe off what you don't. I'm giving these edges here. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Now, because I'm putting this directly onto a straight white, I am getting the highest intensity possible here. If I wanted to get a lighter version of this, what I would have done first is added our clear tough coat to resist the pigment in this antiquing glaze from soaking in and absorbing into the fusion mineral paint. But what I did here was just went straight on with it and I'm very happy with the results. It's a beautiful glaze. If you're doing cabinet doors, it's great to get it into the recesses and the edges. It really pulls out all of that detailing. Now to protect it, on high traffic areas such as a tabletop, um, you will want to add something like our clear tough coat. That's a great option for protecting the surface. But before you do that, you want to let this sit for 12 to 24 hours before you put anything else on top of it. Why? Remember how we said that it's a long open time? Anytime you add another water-based product onto a water-based surface, what's gonna happen is it's gonna make that dry time take even longer and reactivate the surface. So make sure you wait the 12 to 24 hours before putting your clear tough coat on.